So the tech giants of the world, the companies claiming to be at the forefront of artificial intelligence, can't even stop bots from infiltrating their own platforms. Have you ever wondered why we're still deleting spam comments on YouTube despite Google spending billions of dollars on AI? Or why Facebook and Instagram, after pouring tens of billions into AI development, still can't prevent scam messages from flooding your inbox? The disconnect is staggering. If AI were truly capable of replacing human developers, wouldn't these tech behemoths have solved some of their most basic security problems by now? So what does this reveal about the true state of AI's capabilities versus the hype that we're being sold? Now, despite what you may be hearing about AI replacing developers, the evidence points in exactly the opposite direction. The Bureau of Labor Statistics projects 17% growth in software de development jobs over the next 10 years and at adding a huge amount of development positions. And not only that, some of the leading CEOs are also saying that the, that the need for developers is greater than ever. So this is huge growing occupation and way above average. Let's dive in and talk about why human developers are not going anywhere anytime soon. Welcome to Startup Hack. I'm Spencer, and here at Startup Hack, we love to train uh, software developers in our boot camps as well as to build custom software, software solutions for our companies. So, with a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years in software development, I have a master transforming tech teams and products. So, let's dive into a couple of these reports here really quick because I don't want you to think I'm the only person saying this. So, the things that I'm going to talk about today are not just me, right? So, GitHub CEO says we still need human pro human developers, and we on in a lengthy interview about this about why we still need uh, software developers right and he's saying it's not just everybody but this is there's a lot of people talking about this and this is somebody um, who is you know obviously hugely would you know benefit if they didn't need software developers but he said he's been developing software since the early 1990s he says today my role is mostly the github ceo but he he says underneath it all he loves programming and he says you've got to learn to code even if you're going to still use these ai tools now he's not the only one octa ceo CEO is saying that the fact that the um, that BI will be able to use AI and that won't need software developers is totally laughable. And he also, with me, predicts that we're going to see more demand over the next five years for software developers. And I agree with that. I'm not alone with that either. Bill Gates, who has built a lot of technology, says that only three different software, uh, three different jobs are going to left remaining, and the top of that left to software developers. So we're going to dive into a lot more of this. But I'm not the only one saying this here, right? So despite creating Copilot, the world's most advanced AI coding assistant, uh, the founder of C, uh, the founder of CEO of GitHub, uh, insists that coding should be taught in universities just like literacy, math, and history. He compares the claims that we're no longer going to need coding education to say math became obsolete with calculators were invented. Right. So this is another example. Right. And we've been I've been using that one here on my channel for a while. In his view, AI advances understanding code, and it be, makes it even more critical for people to be able to understand code, even with the these tools generating more code, someone needs to verify that it works, identify vulnerabilities, and ensure that it meets compliance standards. So if CEO of the leading co of company leading AI coding technology says we need human developers, we should probably be listening. Now, Todd McKinnon, also CEO of Okta, recently called the idea that we need fewer software developers laughable. Uh, he says he explains that with every technological advance in history, from compilers to mobile devices, we've seen developers' job multiply, not diminish. He predicts companies like Okta, Microsoft, Meta, and Salesforce will all employ more software developers in the future, not fewer. And if you're listening to the the CEO of Salesforce talk about um, saying they won't need software developers, that's totally a smokescreen. All they're doing is trying to move those offshore. They're not actually laying off developers. They're actually getting more. McKinnon points out that as tools uh, that as tools make developers more productive, companies build more ambitious products rather than hiring fewer developers. This pattern has been repeated throughout history of software. Better tools led to more innovation, not fewer jobs. As software continues to eat the world, the demand for people who can build and maintain it only increases. Now, I'm constantly removing bots from my YouTube comments, despite Google being supposedly the global leader in AI technology. And if you don't believe me, like I'd say one out of every 10 comments is from a bot. It's super obnoxious, and it would be totally easy for Google to fix this. So if their AI is that great, and on this billions of dollars of AI invested, they still haven't fixed this. And Meta's just as bad. My Instagram and Facebook inbot is flooded with scammers trying to get me to click on a link and expose my Facebook credentials. 
if AI from Meta was so good, why couldn't they stop this? A recent Notre Dame study found that researchers with just a high school education could easily create and deploy bots on major platforms like X, Reddit, and Facebook. The researchers concluded that none of the eight social me media platforms tested are providing sufficient protection. So if, a if advanced AI can't solve these basic security issues, how can we expect that it's going to replace the nuanced thinking of human developers? These failures highlight the fundamental limitations of AI systems when faced with adverse adversarial creative human actors. Now, AI-generated code is flooding platforms with experts call AI slop, content that looks legitimate at first glance but fails under, uh, secure, under scrutiny. Security researchers discovered that AI tools were producing thousands of fake package dependencies, creating security vulnerabilities across so, uh, software supply chain. Bug bounty platforms are now being overwhelmed with AI-generated fake security reports that waste maintainers' times and resources. A lot of them are starting to close, because, uh, close these because because they're so overwhelmed with the AI generated fake crap. One researcher noted that these reports cite non-existent functions and include unverified patch suggestions that can't actually be implemented. These problems showcase how AI excels at generating superficially correct looking content without understanding deeper context. Now, if your company is having a problem with getting systems connected, reach out to us because here at Startup Hack, our specialty is connecting systems to help your company work like a well-oiled machine. And we're using AI agents in a real really good proven verifiable way not generating a bunch we don't we're not having it generate all of our ai slop right we're generating the code and using these lms to do some amazing data matching and pattern creation that's really interesting so reach out to us because we'd love to help you out check out startuppack.com slash spencer now bill gates recently predicted ai will replace many jobs and this is true i'm not saying that it's not going to replace jobs but specifically he excluded software developers from the endangered list despite his enthusiasm for ai's potential gates acknowledges the quote that program Programmers are essential to identifying and correcting errors in AI systems. Gates maintains that a field of software development is simply too complex for AI to handle without human oversight. The Microsoft founder's position makes sense. Who would build and refine the AI tools if developers were replaced by them? AI is not going to generate its own code. That's total hogwash. Gates suggests programming will remain one of the only fields safe from automation in the coming decade. Even AI's most enthusiastic advocates, like Bill Gates, recognizes the continued need for human developers to guide these systems. Now, Gates' other two was he talked about the need for energy and he talked about the need for biology. So, you know, talking about the medical field, for instance, he says these three fields, so, uh, computer science, energy, and uh, biology are the three fields that AI will never replace, just as an FYI. And I agree with those. I think it's actually a really fascinating one. Now, Thomas Domkey from GitHub foresees that while anyone might build software with AI, everyone will need to maintain the software they build. Maintenance, debugging, and refactoring comprises up to 80% of software development work, areas where AI struggles without human guidance. Even the most sophisticated AI code tools can't understand business context, user expectations, or the nuanced requirements of stakeholders. AI might accelerate code generation, but leaves the complex problems of integration, security, and long-term sustainability to you know us humans in my 25 years of development experience i've seen that the writing cut writing code is the easy part of software development maintaining it over years is the real challenge as ai enables more people to create software the demand for skilled developers who can maintain and improve it is going to increase the bureau of labor statistics projects that software development is going to grow between 17 to 20 percent over the next two years this growth is more than four times faster than the average occupation which is expected to grow by just 4%. So this is a big difference, right? And I and I think those who understand labor and labor patterns understand this. Now, I have a lot of people coming at me be like, why is it so hard to get a job in software development right now? There's a ton of other reasons. One of the largest ones is because of how long we've seen interest rates this high. There's never been a period in the time of serious software development. So let's call serious software development the early 90s to today. We've never seen interest rates this high this long and when money is expensive development gets hit because development's expensive right there's no doubt about that so everyone's blaming ai for the problem with the job industry on software developers there's a lot bigger things at play here there's also the fact that the world is getting smaller so overseas development is a lot simpler there's a lot of other things that impact this ai is not the driving cause of this 
Industries beyond tech are dramatically increasing their software development teams as every business becomes a technology business. The professional, scientific, and technological services sector is projected to be the fastest growing industry sector, with software development adding the most jobs. These government projections directly contradict the doom and gloom predictions about AI replacing developers. Now, recent research shows that near AI, uh, newer AI models actually hallucinate more than their predecessors. And I'm going to talk a lot more about this next week, too. So make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And the best compliment you can give me is even if you disagree, throw a comment down below. It's a huge compliment to me, and I answer all of them personally. But anyways, back to what I was saying here is the newer models are actually hallucinating more of their predecessors, not less, creating a fundamental reliability problem. OpenAI's newer reasoning models, O3 and O4 Mini, hallucinated almost double or triple the rate of previous models, according to their own reporting. They just recently had to pour, pull O4 because of these problems. Even the most advanced AI systems struggle with basic tasks like listing numbers in order without errors. Now, after 25 years of software development, I've learned that reliability trumps speed every single time, and AI tools aren't delivering on reliability. Most AI code tools are trained to maximize functional correctness while, while deprioritizing security and maintainability. The tools optimize for benchmarks rather than real-world performance, creating a widening gap between AI capabilities and practical application. Now, AI excels at generating isolated components but struggles with understanding how different systems interact and integrate together. I found that the integration issues cause the most complex and costly problems not writing individual components. So if you want to write, use AI to write an individual function, great, it's a great use for it. But if you're asking AI to generate entire systems and to deploy them, that's absurd. AI might generate a function, function API endpoint, but it can't understand that endpoint is going to fix into a complex complex ecosystem. Companies discover that AI-generated systems often work in isolation but fail catastrophically when integrated into the larger system. The integration challenge ensures that experienced developers will remain essential even as AI handles some routine coding tasks. Now, as, a as GitHub CEO predicted, AI will democratize access to coding, allowing more people to build some software with less specialized training. This democratization won't eliminate professional developers. Instead, it will create more need for experts who can maintain, secure, and extend those systems. Now, in, as a developer, every tool that, uh, that has made programming more accessible ultimately expanded the industry rather than contracting it. And I've seen this for 25 years. The future won't have fewer developers. It will have more developers with different specializations and skill levels. As the barrier to entry lowers, the value of deep expertise in architecture, security, and system designs will only increase. Now, the most productive future isn't AI replacing developers, but forming a partnership which, where each leverages their own strengths. Um, AI excels at generating boilerplate and repetitive patterns, but struggles with higher level architecture. This creates an ideal division of labor. AI handles the mundane aspects while developers focus on creative and strategic elements. Developers who embrace AI tools rather than fear them are positioning themselves for exceptional career growth. I tell my developers all the time, AI is not going to replace you, but a developer who knows how to use it might. So learning to effectively prompt, guide, and verify AI-generated code is becoming a critical skill that dramatically increases developers' market value. So after 25 years in the field, I can confidently say that problem-solving skills are becoming more valuable, not less, in this AI augmented landscape. So GitHub CEOs argues that coding should be a core part of our global education curriculum, just like literacy, math, history, physics, and art. And I totally agree with this. As you understand and learn how computers work, you can use AI more effectively. Understanding code will be essential for directing and controlling the AI systems that increasingly shape our world. Traditional coding boot camps are really a great way to dive in and be able to get these. What becomes invaluable are developers who understand system thinking, business domains, and real world use. So after 25 years of watching this industry evolve, I've never been more excited about the opportunities opening up for developers than right now. In the next decade, we'll see extraordinary demand for human developers who can harness AI's power while providing the judgment and creativity that machines lack. Now, what are your thoughts? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I really love to have a great discussion and I answer every comment myself. So leave a comment down below to let me know your thoughts, even if it's just to say hi, or even if you want to disagree, that's okay. I love having a great discussion. Here at Startup Hack, we love to train software developers in our coding boot camps, as well as to build custom software solution for companies. So reach out 
out, hit me up at startuppack.com slash Spencer because we'd love to help and hear some great information about it. Hi, my name is Spencer Thomason and I'm a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and a solid 25 years in software development, I've mastered the art of transforming technology teams and products. So what is a fractional CTO? This is where you can contract someone like myself to come into your organization and get the benefits of a seasoned CTO without having to employ me full time. In today's fast paced world, efficiency, security, and product scaling aren't just goals, they're necessities. My passion is building impactful products and enhancing organizational efficiencies through technology. From startups to small businesses, my approach leverages lean methodologies to not just meet but exceed your strategic goals. Whether it's through executive mentoring, cloud system architecture, or launching a minimum viable product swiftly, my aim is to make a significant impact right from the start. Recognized in the Arizona startup ecosystem, my journey has been about creating value and fostering innovation. I have led technology for companies like GoDaddy, SRP, and Wells Fargo, and turned challenges into milestones. I've taken this learning and launched seven of my own brands, and now I want to help you. So if you're looking for a fractional CTO who brings a wealth of experience, strategic vision, and a proven track record, let's connect. Together we can build technology that not only drives your business forward, but also makes a difference. Technology leadership redefined to fit your needs. So reach out today.